In honor of Peter Lindbergh, I'd like to pause for a moment of silence. You're listening to the Master Your Lens Podcast, episode 127. Hey, John Lee Dumas here, the founder and host of EO Fire, and welcome to the Master Your Lens Podcast, the photography podcast dedicated to sharing inspiring stories, technical tips, and powerful secrets to help you become a better photographer. And now, your host, Matthew Jordan Smith. Hello, Photography Nation. How are you doing today? First, I want to apologize for being late on this episode. We started today's podcast by having a moment of silence. Last week, I was in Arizona for the Portrait Masters Conference. I was one of the keynote speakers. When I was first contacted about being a keynote speaker, the first thing that got my attention was the name of one of the photographers that would be there speaking. And his name is Peter Lindbergh. I've loved his work forever. As a matter of fact, when I was a photo assistant, I wanted to work for him. Now, I never got the job, but I've always loved his work. In the 90s, he was the man who shot all the supermodels. And today he shoots many of the campaigns that we see everywhere. About a month ago, I went to a Breitling watch event here in Tokyo. They were showing all their amazing watches. As you walked into the event, there were these gigantic posters everywhere. I knew right away it was Peter Lindbergh's work. The ad campaign features Brad Pitt and Charlize Theron. Peter has an incredible style. You notice it right away. You see, I've always loved his work, and I couldn't wait to meet him in person. On last Tuesday, I flew from Tokyo to Arizona, arrived at the resort, and as soon as I checked in, my first thought was to leave a message for Mr. Lindbergh. Now I've never met him in person before, but I was so excited to be there and get a chance to hear him. He was the opening keynote speaker for the conference, which started on Wednesday, September 4th. But I've had a long flight. Many others have had a long flight. It's a good idea to take it easy before the conference starts the next day. The next morning, I wake up totally excited and ready to get the conference started by hearing Mr. Peter Lindbergh. Since I am also a speaker, I can go back into the speaker ready room, introduce myself, and wish him luck before he speaks. And as I'm walking out the door, a friend of mine sends me a message simply saying, Matthew, isn't Peter Lindbergh speaking at your event? I text him back, yes, and I'm going to hear him speak right now. He's opening the conference. The reply, the reply from my friend stopped me cold in my tracks. I couldn't believe the words in the text. I felt a cold chill run through my entire body. He said, Matthew, I hate to tell you this, but the news in Europe is that Peter Lindbergh just died. Yesterday, February 3rd, I replied to my friend, no, that must be wrong. He's speaking in less than an hour. Then my friend told me to look at his official Instagram page, the real Peter Lindbergh. And I check his Instagram page and my friend was right. There was a post stating that Mr. Peter Lindbergh had passed away. Now, this is a shock to everybody. <clears throat> and I go to breakfast. Some people are aware of the news, but most are not. And a friend walks up to me and says, Matthew, have you heard the news? And I say, yes. And this friend says, actually, when I checked in yesterday, yesterday morning at the resort, there was a lot of activity in terms of police cars and ambulance and fire trucks. Now, this is the first day of the conference. The keynote speaker, Mr. Lindbergh, flew from Paris to Arizona, 
checked into his hotel and passed away. Now I know this, this podcast today is a very different podcast. We all make our plans, what we're going to do every day, what we're doing next week, what we're doing next month. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. I remember very well the morning of September 11th, 2001. I was living in New York City at that time. That day in New York was an amazingly beautiful morning. It was a blue sky, not one cloud in the sky. And that's rare for New York City. But that day, it was the perfect day until the planes came crashing into the World Trade Center. I say all of this today to remind you to live your life to the fullest. Peter Lindbergh died doing what he loves, photography, and we will know his name and his images forever. They've made an impact, even though I did not get to hear him. His work has always had an impact on me, and it always will, even more so now. Peter Lindbergh is gone, but he lived his life with no regrets, doing what he loves. And isn't that what life is all about? To live it to the fullest. Today's podcast is short. It's meant to remind you of one thing and one thing only. To get out and live your life to the fullest. Every time you take a picture, make sure it is impactful. Make sure it's telling the world how you feel. Don't take one day for granted. Live your life well. And show it in your pictures. Don't put things off until tomorrow. None of us knows what the future holds. But our duty, our responsibility is to live today to the fullest. So let me ask you, what are you going to take photos of today? What will your pictures today say to the world? Do me a favor. After you hear this podcast, pick up your camera and take one picture today that is special to you. Whether you're hearing this podcast today or you're hearing it at another time, when you finish today's podcast, pick up your camera and take a picture that means something to you. Now, what does that mean? Are you going to take a picture that you think others will like. That's a very different thing. Today, I'd like you to do a picture just for you. A picture that makes you smile or makes you feel good or makes you feel you've let the world know exactly how you're feeling in this moment, this day, September 11th, 2019. I am now back from the conference and yes, It was a very weird start, but Sue Bryce handled it very, very well. Of course, it started with the announcement to let everyone know what had happened. They didn't give details, which is great. I'm glad they did not, but they acknowledged what happened. And then there was a moment of silence. We then had a break for about 15 minutes and then came back and started the conference. They called in an emergency speaker Joel Grimes, my friend, who is an amazing photographer. He happens to live there in Arizona, and he was able to come in at the last minute and give a presentation. My hat goes off to Joel Grimes because he had no time at all to prepare. And with that in mind, he did a great job in a very hard situation. I was the keynote speaker on the last day of the conference to start the day off. And my theme was all about confidence, how you build confidence when shooting. I did a live photo shoot on stage and I showed them four different lighting setups. Each speaker was given 90 minutes and we could not go over. And to do four light setups in that time was a challenge. There's no time to guess at anything. And I mentioned that. There are many times when you are shooting when you don't have the time to guess or try to get it right. 
you've got to know exactly what you're doing. So I told them about my secret weapon. Well, not really weapon, my secret tool that I use to give me confidence every time I shoot. When I finished my presentation, I got a standing ovation. Now, this is my first time speaking at the Portrait Masters Conference, and the audience didn't really know me before this. But after I spoke, I couldn't really walk around without someone stopping me and saying how much the presentation meant to them in terms of lighting, in terms of confidence. And many people told me they're going to get my secret weapon so they too can have confidence. Now, it is hard to show this on a podcast, but this month I will be doing a webinar just to talk about this secret weapon and how you too can build your confidence in photography. Stay tuned to my Instagram. I will be announcing all the details there very soon in the next day with all the details of the webinar. All right, Photography Nation, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the Master Your Lens podcast. You have an assignment for today to pick up your camera and go out and shoot something today just for you that makes you feel good, that makes you feel special. Remember to live your life to the fullest. Always dream big. I want to invite you right now to follow me on Instagram at Matthew Jordan Smith. And yes, there's two T's in Matthew. You can follow my crazy life in photography and learn along the way. Stay in touch to find out exactly what's happening in the world of photography as it relates to lighting and so much more. Again, I will be doing a webinar coming up very, very soon, and I will announce it on my Instagram and Facebook pages. Until then, always dream big. Bye for now.